YouTube, welcome back. Today on Kung Fu Science, my student Eric and I are going to show you guys five of Bruce Lee's Wing Chun techniques. <laughs> so, it's pretty common knowledge that Bruce Lee practiced Wing Chun before he came to the United States and started doing his own sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> that being said, Wing Chun was still very prominent in what he did, and a lot of his movements were based on Wing Chun. Um, so that being said, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Five of Bruce Lee's Wing Chun moves. Right. You've seen them in all the movies before, um, and most of them start out where you do your hair like this, and he always like that. You've seen that before, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so what you'll feel is a little forward pressure from me, right? Yeah, it's not my my arm is not going. Right, there's a little there. All right, you feel it. It's like a spring that's built up. Okay, wing, uh, Bruce Lee's Wing Chun move number one was this. <laughs> Seen that before? Yes. Alright, so I'm here, and the spring is there, right? And if this thing that's in the way of my spring moves, my hand should come forward on its own, right? So I'm going, I'm firing this spring that's built up. <laughs> that's Wing Chun, Bruce Lee's Wing Chun move number one. Sometimes he would go, and stay back here. Sometimes he would go, and come through and give an elbow. But move number one, you wanna try it? Sure. So, and you can. Pop my hand. You can fist. Bam. Like that. And the next part this is Bruce Lee's move number two. Okay? I go to do this, but your hand gets in the way and you slap it off. With the other hand. Oh. Bam. Just like that, right? Okay? So what I do in response to that. Bam. You've <laughs> before too, right? Yes. And we go a little bit this way. So I go to slap here. Boom. Boom. I just roll over. Let's go in slow motion so they can see it. I fire here. You go to hit it. I bonk out, which goes off the center line, takes it away from the center line, reach under, and free the same punch again. Hmm. Right? So my spring is built up here. My spring explodes, but you bend my spring again. So I free it again. Bam! So now you've actually, instead of deflecting, you've actually created more more, much more powerful. <laughs> yes. Okay, so if I do it quick. <laughs> get your uh, get your pocket faster. Bam. 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 First lead move number three. Right. The same thing. All right. So I'm here and I slap it, but now I hit low, which draws your attention low. Mm -hmm. All right. So <clears throat> I will slap, hit low, and then right after that I do a little bounce like this. Mm -hmm. Slap again and hit up top. So he's he did a lot of fencing with his punches. Okay. Which means he would use the same hand to punch instead of. Both hands, right? So he would go, boom, boom, and do the same hand twice. So he did the pox out, just doesn't distract you, keep that hand where it is, and the bottom hand just goes into a bong out, which you haven't really learned yet, but it's this move right here, and you just kind of did it a little ago. This one right here, when the yeah. arm is bent, this time I do it actively and just put a fist on the end. <laughs> Alright, so it's spiraling in like that. Alright, so I'm here, and I go, boom, you feel it? Yeah. And then a little pop, boom, up top. Little bounce and that yeah. bounce is just like a recoil. To give you a jiggle and a recoil. <laughs> okay. If you don't if you don't then you can't you're using strength. Okay. But what I'm trying to use is spring. Alright, so I have a little spring like that, all right? There it is again. Alright. So I'm here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you wanna so. try? It? So you do the pock and you're gonna go low like this. So boom, yep. Hit the guy. And that was the hit bone. So Boom. Yep. And now as soon as that hits, go ahead. And then now you pop bounce. again, and this will just slap the hand, and you come back over and do the back fist. Alright, so it just does the same move that it does down, it just comes back. Just like this. Yeah, it's very natural. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So. so. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> good. I'm sorry. That's good. That was all teeth. Didn't hurt my mouth at all. Oh, I hit your teeth? Yeah, you hit oh, teeth. Oh, I thought I hit your like brow right there. Nah, I'm so sorry. Your teeth. Oh, I was cute. smiling, it was just like <laughs> <laughs> right, Yeah, you no, don't look like you're bleeding. It's all good. Sorry, <laughs> I get beat up okay. all day. That's what we so. do here. Okay, Bruce Lee technique number three. I'm here, and what I'm gonna do with my arm and just roll it over, and as it rolls over, I'm gonna hook onto your arm, and then I'll straighten it out like I'm doing the punch like this, but I do it down like that with your arm attached, like this, all right? So on top of that, I'm gonna go, and just punch. Hmm. And then after my punch, 
Pac said, I'll keep the arm down there and hit you with the other. <laughs> right, so I'm here and I go, pow, pow. One more time for me. Slow motion. Got it. Alright. So. Ah, punch. <laughs> It'll be a bottom three knuckle punch. Like only chop punch. This kind of punch. Ah. Yeah, and grab the arm. Ah. Yes. So you're kind of pulling me offline and you're pulling me into your punch. Right? It's making my head kind of turn into your punch a little. Bam. Right? And then after that. And you take that front hand, go ahead, and oh. use this front hand to slap my arm down and free your back hand. So. And you can do a palm strike, but it's a punch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, that's number one. <laughs> so. And you want to make sure that you lock the arm out. See so if you get that okay. extra. Yeah, that's the one. So, because you're pulling that shoulder, you're not going to get a chest. So yeah, you're going to have to the face. face. Yeah. The so, chest is so that you can make contact with my body and train yourself to make contact without pulling all of your punches. But that's a subject for another video, another day. Talk. Talk. Yeah. So you keep control of the hand. Gotcha. Okay. That was four. four. And number five is the inch punch. And I've showed you that one before. You've shown me this one before. And we'll do this one on the video. Yeah. I'll go up to the video for this one so that I can explain it a little bit. Um, there's a bunch of million, there's a million different ways to do the inch punch. Bruce Lee did his inch punch a bunch of different ways as well. He moved his body a lot more to sort of uh, kind of throw off the viewers as to how he was getting the energy. And there's a lot of different subjects. But anyway, I'm just going to show you my interpretation of the inch punch and how it's done. Um, <clears throat> Well, done from multiple different inches. It doesn't have to be done like one inch away, but I'm going to do it the fingertips away. So what do you say, about three inches maybe? Yeah. Okay. Um, the math behind this is my elbow's low, and all I'm doing is pistoning out my arm shoot, straight out like this. I bend the elbow, or straighten the elbow out, and torque the, the wrist just a little. Just like that. And I keep the elbow in center. I move very simple, just like this. I don't have to go, ah, and put all my body into this. This is a mechanics technique. What do you think? Powerful. Powerful? Yeah, okay. definitely push that. Okay, so I'm gonna just be a little nice with it this time. So I don't have to fully extend my arm to get him to go away like that. That's how you make him go away. That's how you make it show, right? It's very pretty when you knock the guy away and he flies away. It looks very awesome, looks very powerful, etc. etc. I can how I make it actually hurt him <laughs> is I don't fully extend my arm. In fact, I just boom, shock the energy and let this little thud hit right in the center of the chest. All right. That one can go inside and really hurt the guy. I'm being nice right now, but... Alright, so this is where you're at. This in the face. What do you think? Oh, no. Let's, no, not, really do Let's not do that one. Right. So, exactly. So, tell him what you feel in the inch punch. Okay, pretty much uh, as soon as he makes the strike, there's literally a vibration that goes centralized right here and just forces me back. I. And then it just like verberates through the body, and that's where that step back comes from. You just feel a, just a, it's like a ripple of water, it just, and then pushes yeah. you back. Keeps going. Um, but it doesn't feel secret powerful or anything mystical, right? It's no, scientific. It's, it literally is. It's it makes sense. Utilizing how your muscles work, and then. Good stuff. Excellent stuff. All right, All right guys, anyway. thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if there's any questions or concerns or comments, just let me know um, in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you for watching Kung Fu Science. What's in your Kung Fu?